Search for whatever subject that I'm doing, and so it's a lot of uh, a lot of just thumbnailing and um, just kind of trying to figure out an idea based on where I want it to go, but also being open to the idea that it could go somewhere else. Um, and kind of because I because I notice that uh, if I get too if I get too married to a concept that I think. Like I have to execute, um, then that's where I can run into the most blocks. Uh, but if, as, so I try to stay in an open mind space, especially like in the beginning, uh, concepting phases of, uh, when I'm drawing characters or um, full illustrations or anything. Uh, but my my actual material process, um, I traditional. Well, I work mostly traditionally right now. Um, I do. Pretty much all my inking uh, traditionally, but I'll do my colors either in Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint, or um, I really enjoy doing like Copic markers as well, or alcohol-based markers. Um, so that's pretty much the main, uh, I guess, if I'm doing a full illustration kind of thing. But I also really enjoy doodling, just like kind of doing freestyle kind of ink stuff. Uh, I feel like I get a lot of I feel like I get stuff that I wouldn't have uh, intended for that way. I, I, get, I, get, a, I get the most surprising uh, things stylistically uh, when I'm doing pen and ink because it makes you uh, be a little more confident in your line work so you're not like making it too messy. Uh, but uh, that's a definitely a way of drawing I really, really enjoy. Um, I was always really drawn to like really heavy compositions, like really, really busy, doodly, like kind of just like free flowy, um, like ske oh, very sketchbook style stuff. Like I, 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 I use, I, I always think that uh, some of my favorite artist sketchbooks are probably. Uh, I like them more than their actual art sometimes, uh, and, and I guess that was a really big influence on me. And I always wanted to do that myself, um, but when, when I, uh, I don't know, it, 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 it took it took a while because I, I definitely have like I remember wanting to get more um, just more loose and busy with my style, uh, but it, it it took time and. Um, I was saying it. it's it's I don't know it's like a meditation I, I I feel like when I just get in the flow of it and I'm just doing the straight ink stuff it's just like I, I feel like that's where it's like my uh, my zen place with my art like it feels very like like it's a way it, it can be kind of rough at first and and you're kind of thinking like 
oh, like what am I trying to draw? And like your, 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 the part of your brain that's like trying to be like analytical with it and, and put labels on everything, like kind of stands at the front. But I feel like if, if I just keep going with it, it just, uh, I don't know, it just kind of evolves. Like whenever I feel like I experience like a block, in something or something like I'm drawing it a million times it just doesn't look right it's because I have like a I have an idea of how it should be and I'm not letting myself explore the other option it's kind of like like you know how like a you ever have like a fly like in your uh, like in your house or like your car window and it keeps like hitting the window seal and it's like keeps going in that one spot and it's like trying to get out you know but like the window seals open you're like dude just like you gotta like take a step back and like see that there's like an opening I feel like that's that's what it's like when you're trying to like uh, make a concept work. You know, it, it is really. I feel like with with drawing, it's so much. Um, it's so much letting whatever it is kind of channel through you and being flexible to that. You know what I mean? Because you, you can you can have a vision of what you want something to look like, but I I, I generally always find that um, not to like not to be sold on what I think is the right idea and being open to the possibility of something that I may not perceive yet, if that makes sense. So some of my inspirations, I would definitely say, uh, well, being inspired by like video games and, and kind of the stuff that I was playing as a kid, like all, all the, the kind of encompassment of the things that I was just super into as a kid, but like wasn't, like, I didn't really think about when I was into them. It's just, you know, the things that you're just like compelled towards, but without really knowing why. Um, definitely things like, uh, like Monster Hunter, Pokemon, Digimon, uh, just any, things with lots of monsters in it for sure, but, uh, but I guess uh, some of the, main artists that have influenced me, um, I guess today, I would say artists like, uh, which I think I previously mentioned, like Ken Sugimori, uh, I really like this artist T-Way, who's like an active street artist uh, right now, well I think he does other things as well, uh, but I guess street art was actually a huge influence on me as well, um, that was kind of like a big stepping stone like when I was in high school. Um, that was like one of the big, that was like one of the first like art movements that like I, I guess I become, that like awakened me to the next like echelon of like what I wanted to get into. Um, and then I guess from there, I think the next kind of movement was like, I, once, once I discovered anime and uh, what, that, what it really was, as opposed to what I thought it was like in junior high and high school, it's just kind of more, uh, cringy thing and, and once I started to realize like oh this is crazy but it's like very expressive and uh, the, the characters are super weird and I don't know so I, I feel like that is that has uh, been more current influence uh, into what I'm doing today uh, my version of an omnitopia would just just be a place where there's uh, I guess like artists that aren't afraid to create flexibility to actually pursue those things.